Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters of Islam with reference to Pakistan's Independence Day celebrations 14th August 1947 i would say that every nation in this world carries their ethnic identity in their country's name such as Afghanistan where afghan nation resides turkey where turks live and arabia is where arabs call their home it goes without saying that pakistan should be the country where purified people live with all their glory happiness and freedom but unfortunately i regret to say that history has itself witnessed that this land of pure is getting scarce of pure people and getting replaced by impure people many folds why this is happening may i ask that did founder of pakistan qaid e azam muhammad ali jinnah had some deficiency of integrity in the foundation of pakistan is meaning of pakistan is not la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah and was also raised as only slogans and not from the core hearted reality i would say this is unbelievable in november 1939 qaid e azam muhammad ali jinnah during his eid ul fitr address to muslims stated that our manifesto or national program reflects the message given in holy quran and it is mandatory for every muslim to earnestly read and abide by the preachings of quran at all times having quran as our manifesto muslim league could not possibly deliver any other program towards the muslims so my respected brothers and sisters while having such sermons from the founder of pakistan qaid e azam muhammad ali jinnah and first prime minister of pakistan liaquat ali khan all the addresses and sermons made has clearly given reflection of the verses of quran and the teachings given by the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but very sadly the people of pakistan has not given relevance to these messages and the nation has suffered with lost faith in islam and getting manipulated to follow expired political theories and waging wars of ethnicities by forming nation within nation this is primarily the reason why pakistan is getting weaker before its enemies and self disintegrating from a nation towards a misguided crowd still i would say that we have some hope left that if pakistan crowns itself with holy quran and sincerely follows the teachings of quran in all its matters of governing this land this will definitely reclaim its past glory and became a real pakistan and an invincible nation i pray to allah subhanahu wa taala that pakistan should be safe from all problems and all pakistanis should live in harmony in this world ameen ya rabbul alamin